And Allah would forgive them. And He would place in their steed the Jews and the Christians. Abu Rabab said, and I do not know as to who is in doubt. So, in your, in your religion, in your hadith, okay. Allah is taking the sins of Muslims and putting it on Jews and Christians. Oh, you don't understand that this one. Oh, you explain it. No. So basically, I ask him a question, right? No, no, I explain me the hadith. I asked, I asked you said, question. I don't understand the hadith. Wait, I, asked your question. I need you to, no, no, what did I not understand? No, what, was what, did I not? what was my question? You're saying that why is Allah sacrificing himself for himself, for the forgiveness of the Here, here, here the that's the question. That the first and the question. answer is that Allah. Allah is sacrificing <laughs> Jews and Christians <laughs> for the sins of Muslims. Come on, I your question, yeah. Allah is Wait, sacrificing. No, listen. No, why you said, why? why? Because you're not. Why are logic. you afraid of your own hadith? No, bro, you're a hypocrite, yeah. You're no, you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You're you a don't hypocrite. want to read your own hadith. Okay, answer my question. Then. Your hadith is saying okay, talk. Allah talk, yeah? can Allah can forgive sins can by sacrificing can another person. Can so how can he do can that? I talk? Yeah. Can I talk? Go ahead. I said Christian logic is God sacrificed Himself for Himself mm -hmm. to save humanity mm -hmm. from Himself mm -hmm. because a rule mm -hmm. He made for Himself. No, not for Himself. That, that's, that's, that's what I asked What do you mean he made a rule? Which rule he made for himself? The rule that, you know, if the Jesus died, then you will be forgiven. That's so, not a rule. So what, what, what is? Are, are you just talking? Do you not know what you're saying? Well, I, I'm saying I know what Okay, I'm ask me if you don't know. No. Your Quran says go and ask the people of the book because you don't know what you're talking about. I'm Muhammad asked, didn't know what he was Christian. talking about. You're yeah, Christian. I'm the person of the so book. Answer, you need so to answer, ask me so what it question. means. And what it answer, means answer is... my question from Christian perspective. Christian perspective, the, the, the punishment of sin is death. That's the Christian perspective. God to save us from the death of sin because you don't even understand my question, man. I'm saying Christian logic is Allah. No, no, how many no, times you want to repeat? Jesus, yeah, how Jesus many times you want to repeat no, 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 one no, thing? No. I don't want to hear stand here for you to repeat ten Islam, times the same Islam thing. Islam is perfect, right? Huh? Islam is perfect. What, what do you mean no, perfect? No perfect because Allah is giving that's, the life of yeah. Jews and Christians for that's the sins of. Hadith. You didn't so you don't that. believe your Sahih Hadith? No, I you know, said I believe Sahih Hadith. When I show you Sahih Hadith, you said it's just a Hadith. Okay, what, what does it say? It doesn't even relate to my question. No, it does. Allah different. is giving uh, yeah. sacrifice to Himself no, from the understand. from you're, the Jews and Christians. Why? Because they are sinless. Jews and Christians are saved. You're, you're, Allah is taking their goodness and putting the question, sins of wait, Muslims wait, wait, on question, their goodness. They're question, sinless. Question, right? Is, in your logic, it makes Christian, sense. Yeah. How they make sense? No, no, has a, How is make sense for Allah to take your sin? How does it make sense? One by one, you know. Don't interrupt him. Just okay. My question was. Okay. You're a Christian. Yeah. Christian logic is right. Has he not said no, no, this no, no, like you, five you, times before? No, you don't understand. You don't understand my question. Go so ahead. I have, to, I have to tell you again and again until you get it, and then answer me from, from Christian perspective, because you believe this, right? As a Christian. So my question is: Christian logic, God sacrificed Himself for Himself to save humanity from Himself because of a rule he made for himself. That's a misinterpretation. How? Okay. So do you know, when you say, when so I you ask you- understand my question, right? Now. I understand you're asking- Does a, a Christian answer me now? Your question is based on a misconception and a misunderstanding of Christian belief. Is that, is that your answer? I'm about to answer. That's, I'm starting to answer. If you're going to listen, if you're going to... You know what? So you don't understand Christian belief. I'm not answering this question. Okay. So your Quran is telling you... I read the three times. Run away, run away, run away. That's what Muhammad did. Muhammad ran away from the Christians. Muhammad ran away from the Christians. Your prophet ran away. Now you run away. 
<laughs> Anyways, Islam, Islam is false. He knows, you know, he's just making a person. The question is based on a false premise that we believe that Allah, God did this and this and this. And now I have to accept that premise and answer it. That's a false premise. That's a red herring. I'm not answering that. The, Quran, the Hadith says that Allah is going to forgive the sins of Muslims heavy as mountains. And that's the Hadith that he doesn't want to look at because the concept of somebody dying from other person's sin is found in their hadith, which is totally false because no man can take a sins of another man. Jesus is God, therefore he can come down and take the sins of sinful people because he's sinless. He became sin, for, uh, you, though he had no sin, he became sin for others. That's why he said he was the lamb that was given for the sins of the world. And that's Jesus. They Islam have, is false. They attack us how many times on this? How can one man take a sin? Of yeah, they always say that. How can uh, God? Yeah, that's a hypocrisy right there. Islam is false. Jesus is Lord. I'm out. Amen.